Unity allows you to create both 2D and 3D video games. Certain features of Unity apply to one or the other, but many are common to both. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you the difference between a 3D object in Unity and a 2D sprite object. And I'm also going to explain what's common between both of them. So if I go down here to Game Object, 3D Object, Cube, this will create a 3D cube in my game. I will now go up here to Game Object, 2D Object, Sprite. This will create a 2D sprite object in my game. I'm going to drag this out a little bit. You'll notice that right now our sprite is invisible. If we look at the components, we could get a better idea of why the game object is behaving the way that it is. Currently, our game object is invisible. There are two main reasons for this. The first would be that the sprite renderer is completely turned off. This check here indicates that the sprite renderer is turned on. Therefore, that's not the issue. The second issue could be that our sprite has not yet been assigned. If we look over here where we see the word sprite, we'll notice that it says none. Let's click this little circle here in order to select from some of the default sprites. Now, these are mainly for the user input, uh, the default sprites that Unity gives us for that. In future tutorials, I will actually show you how to bring pictures of characters and environments in and actually turn them into 2D game objects. But for the purposes of this demonstration, I just want to select knob. I'm going to rotate this knob 90 degrees around the Y axis so that it's now facing us. And I'm going to scale it up. I'm going to do this by selecting the knob, pressing the R key, and pulling on the center scale to get a nice uniform scale on our game object. Now you'll see that I have my cube, my 3D object, and my 2D object side by side. So you'll make an important note of our first point, which is that you can have both 3D objects and 2D objects in one particular game, also in one particular level or scene file. Now the next thing to note is that these two objects have some major differences. For example, if we look at our cube, we'll see it has a mesh renderer component attached to it. If we look at our sprite, we'll notice that we have a sprite renderer attached to it. If we rotate our directional light, you will notice that the light affects the cube, but not the sprite. Now, this is just particularly because the sprite has a default sprite material set to it, which doesn't allow light to interact with our sprite game object. In future tutorials, I'm going to show you how to assign a new material to it. But for the purpose of this tutorial, this introductory course, uh, that knowledge is a bit out of the scope of this particular course, or at least this particular video. Right now, I mainly want to focus on when we go to add component and we go to physics here, I want to show you the difference between 3D physics and 2D physics. Now, one peculiarity of Unity is that 3D physics is the only thing that can be applied to 3D objects. We can't add 2D physics to our 3D object. As you'll see, can't add due to a conflicting opponent. We can't add component rigid body 2D to our cube because it conflicts with the existing box collider derived component. The box collider is a collider that is on our cube. You'll see it indicated by this green line here. If I turn off the visibility of our cube, you'll be able to more clearly see the outline of the box collider. I'll turn the visibility back on. For our, for our knob, however, our 2D sprite, we have the choice of adding 3D physics or 2D physics to it. One important point to note is that you kind of want to stick with either 3D or 2D physics. You don't want to start mixing and matching and making 3D objects colliding with 2D objects that use 2D physics. Otherwise, you'll run into some issues. The collisions may not work properly. In addition, you can never have an object. Uh, let's say we take this 2D object and add a physics component to it. And we'll add a box collider to it. Now we go to add physics 2D rigid body 2D. We get that same conflicting component error. Now, if I remove this box collider just to show you that we can add physics 2D objects here. And now I go back and I want to add a 3D physics object. You'll notice that there's a conflicting component error. So you really want to make sure that you choose, depending on the style of game that you're making, whether or not you want to use 3D or 2D physics on your game objects.